Hello everyone, I hope you are excited to start our session today. A pack of modeling tools, a box of white plaster sin, a box of colored plaster sin, and your own ruler. We are going to make an awesome pot like this using a mixture of pinching and coiling method. I will do a step by step instructions on how to do these shapes. You are free to choose which shapes you want to use first on your pot. I will leave the arrangement of these shapes as well as the colors to you. Let's get started. We are going to do the pinch pot first. You can choose the color you want for your pinch pot. When opening up the pack, do not rip it apart. Open it nicely so you can use back this plastic to keep your unused plasticine. Measure 3 cm on the huge bar with your ruler and cut it off. You can use the long yellow tool to cut. Roll the cut off piece into a ball and begin by making an indent using your thumb first. Then use your pinky to make the indent deeper. Make sure the indent does not go through the other side of the ball. Now use your thumb and your index finger to pinch like this. Pinch only the walls of the pot and not the top part. Use the width of short blue tool to check the thickness on the rim of the pot. Make sure it's consistent. Check the bottom for consistency of thickness by using your thumb and your index finger. Turn the pot upside down and tap the rim gently to make a flat smooth finish. Do the same to the bottom part of the pot. Check for cracks and gaps on the pot. Smoothen them like this. A pot is ready. Let's get started with the coiling now. Use the plasticine of the other color. Measure about 1.5 cm and cut the chunk. Roll it like a mini sausage shape. By using your palm, roll the chunk starting from one end to the other so you can get the coil with same thickness. Do not press the plasticine too hard while rolling because you will end up having a flat coil. Use the short blue tool again to measure the consistency of the thickness. If you have a flat coil like this, stop rolling and fix it. If you are going to keep rolling, it's going to be worse. Now, tap the flat spot down, so it's more rounded and not so flat. Then, you can start rolling again with your palm. Roll it from one end to the other. You can prepare about 3 to 4 coils. First, design the cylinder. Take one coil, measure 1 cm and cut. You can prepare about 15 pieces of this design. Neaten all the cylinders before cutting the next design. Next design is the tear drop. Measure 2.5 cm and cut. You will need about 10 pieces for this design. Fold your coil into half to make this shape. Pinch the end a little to secure the shape. For the next design, the spiral. For this design, you have to roll your existing coil a little thinner before measuring and cutting. Once you are done, measure 6 cm per piece and cut. You will need about 6 pieces of this. Taper one end of the piece by flattening it a little like this. And just roll the other end in like this. Next, we are going to do another 4 coils with any color of your choice. Just like before, cut 1.5 cm each piece. Shape it into a mini sausage shape and use your palm to roll the piece. It should be slightly thinner than the previous coils we made. Once all are done, let's use all these to assemble our pot. Firstly, take one of the freshly made coils and place it on the rim of the pot, following the circumference of the pot. Overlap the coils and cut through both pieces here. You can use the long red tool to cut. Attach both ends by blending them together. Now we are going to do the blending on the inner part by using the short blue tool. Use the end that looks like a mini spoon to blend. Now 
Use your finger to smoothen it further. Do not blend the outer part. Check the blending of the inner part is properly blended. From this part onwards, I leave the arrangement of these shapes to you. You can choose which shape you want to use first. Just arrange your chosen shapes on the rim of the coil, and then layer them with the plain coil and blend the inner part. Remember to alternate these design shapes with the plain coils and then blend them on the inner part only. Please do not feel stressed while doing this. Most importantly, you will have fun while doing this. This should be a therapeutic session for you, not a stressful one. While working on my pot, I noticed there are some gaps here. I'm going to fill these gaps with some small designs. Once you are done, keep all the remaining pieces of plasticine back in their respective packs, according to their colors. Wrap them nicely and slot it back inside the box. Use a piece of tissue to wipe all the used tools and keep them back in the pack. Remember to wipe your table too!